Hey, good morning, and thanks for getting up and joining me this morning. I haven't done this in a little bit. I decided that I wanted to share a morning verse with Mike. I'm watching everything that is going on in the world right now, and the just the craziness and uh, the frustration that people have. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to get up this morning, and I, I sat and thought about this. I prayed about it yesterday, and I decided, you know, I, uh, I feel like God is calling me to, to kind of get back in this live stream and podcast groove and share a message of positivity. And so this morning I decided, well, let's, let's have a conversation on positivity. I wanted to share a Bible verse with you, share a message of hope, and um, say a prayer. So, hey, good morning, Eric. Modern Day Tech over there on YouTube. I appreciate you swinging by here, man. Uh, for, for anybody that's watching this, whether you're watching right now live or if you're watching later, uh, I'm going to be sharing a Bible verse this morning. It's from uh, the New Living Translation, Every Man's Bible. Good morning, Patrick. I've missed you too, man. I just, uh, it's one of those things that's is heavy on my heart and, and I was sitting thinking to myself, it's like, man, uh, we need our faith. We need some hope right now and uh hope is something that is is so unique we have, you know we're hopeful to like right now el eliminate racism and we're hopeful to spread our message and we're hopeful to be heard and on you know on on a different note we're hopeful to, for space exploration and so there's a lot i just wanted to get really rooted back into the message of uh, of love and faith and god and i i don't have any sort of of script laid out <laughs> other than I, I did take a few notes and uh, as, as I always do for the people that that watch and and um, so yeah I wanted to share this morning from every man's Bible it's Jeremiah 29 11 and I'm gonna get in here Jeremiah 29 11 this is very much a message of hope and a good reminder to all of us so uh, if I can find it I can't I can't see this early in the morning so it says Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, their plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. And I'm going to keep reading because there's a, a few additional passages here that I, that I think really add to this message. In those days when you pray, I will listen. So in those days when you need hope, when you pray, I will listen. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I will be found by you, says the Lord. I will end your captivity and restore your fortunes. I will gather you out of the nations where I sent you and will bring you home again to your own land. Now, one of the reasons I really like this Bible is because there's some other messages in it. And on the next page, one of the writings, it says, you know, where it's talking about good things. It says how wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. That's actually from Psalm 133, verse 1. And so there is a message of hope. There is a message of love and of light and positivity. And the reminder this morning is that God does have a plan. We all sometimes end up in this whirlwind and, and this ball of daily craziness. And there's so much daily craziness going on right now that I encourage you to spread the message of love, spread the message of hope. We have a choice, right? We have a, a decision that we can all make. And it, whatever it is, I've said this in so many different videos, whatever it is that we put in, we help to put out. So I encourage you, pay attention to what you're putting in right now. There, there's so much judgment going on. It, it's a difficult thing. The judgment that's going on right now is, uh, for example, people that are, are protesting and rioting, we have... People that are uh, others that are judging them and saying, I can't believe they're protesting and writing. Well, from that perspective, they're saying, I can't believe you're not. Instead of passing the judgment on others, share the message of hope. Worry, it, it, this is terrible to say, say it this way, but worry about yourself, right? Focus on what it is that you're spreading, your message, your truth, your light. And just remember our points of growth as individuals, as society, that they all will come through perseverance. So when we, we put behind a positive message and we keep going and we push that, you know, we're all going to have to work through these daily trials. 
the, the key is that we're all going to have to work through the daily trials together. You know, there are points where people are working so much as individuals. And I'm sorry, I keep losing eye contact. I'm just, I'm thinking because it's like, for goodness sake, hey, good morning, Becca. And good morning, Erica. Oh, I, I guess <laughs> Patrick's tagging Erica. I hope Erica's watching at this point. See, it's been a minute since I've done this. <clears throat> so here, here's the thing. We have to practice fortitude. We have to stay steadfast in our faith. We have to practice positivity. We have to practice sharing hope. It, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes to share our hope. It's hard sometimes to share our truth. And when we do, when we do share that hope, when we do share that truth, it, it comes back tenfold. Good morning, Anthony. It's nice to see you this morning, man. Now, under, understand, I know that things can look bleak right now. They can. And especially depending on what it is that you are focused on, is that it's going to be that level that you make the decision of how good or bad it is. Because it, as I said at the beginning, as, as difficult of times as there may be, as, as frustrating things as there are out there in the world, at the same time, there are, is a lot to be hopeful for. And just remember to consistently keep the ho hope, keep the faith. You be the point of light. You know, that's why I wanted to share this going into a Monday morning, a new week, a new month, a, a new day, a new era, right? They're, they're, they're just keep the faith. Make sure that you're, you are somebody that is, is spreading a good message, a, a heartfelt message. So I'm going to close this in prayer this morning. And um, for, for those of you that, that tuned in live, thank you. You know, I, I would love to hear, I would love to hear, just share in the comments if you're watching it live right now. If you're watching later on, I'm going to say a prayer for us as we close out. And I would love to hear something that is positive right now going on for you. Something that you're hopeful for, right? Because it, when it, it just starts with one person. There, hope starts with... It's, it's sparked with one person. So, I'm going to close this in prayer. <clears throat> Lord, I maintain my hope in you, and I hold on to the assurance that what I'm praying for is already accomplished in the name of Jesus. Your word promises, no good thing does he withhold from that walk uprightly. I wait upon you for your definition of the good thing. You will not withhold from me. As David prayed in Psalm 18, I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold. So make sure this morning, make sure this week, make sure this year that's been such a difficult this year, please, Lord, guide us through this. Help lift up our hearts, help us keep our hope, help us keep our strength, our faith, and unite with others in such a positive manner that we, we continue to light the fire and stoke the fire of hope and love and forgiveness. Instill that in us, Lord. Amen. So, for those of you watching, Share the message. Share the message with somebody else today. Stay positive. Keep the faith. Keep the hope. Keep the love. I shared on Saturday on, on my, my Facebook. I said, hey, make sure, man. Uh, make sure. Call, call somebody and tell them you care about them, that you're thinking about them. Pray with them today. Love them. Hug them. You know, people that you may not see to eye to eye with. Communicate them with, with them in, in a positive manner. Hug them, reach them, come to a common ground. But there is hope. And just remember that that hope is going to come through, through God's plan. So thank you for taking your time out with me this morning. Uh, as I'm sharing the, these Bible verses and this 
uh, these messages. I'm probably not going to do this every day right now. I'm thinking like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I am. I like. I think this is a time that we we need faith. We need hope. We need love, and and we need a message. We need leadership, and so I figured I'm going to grab that torch and share with with people that would like to hear the hear the message and to share it. So thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. We'll talk to you soon, everybody.